What is up everyone, Sirshade here, back in No Man's Sky, with the recent Foundations update. I've been keeping my eye on No Man's Sky, I've, admittedly yeah, I did try to refund it but it was unsuccessful because I played like 12 hours or something, and now finally there's an update, and it has brought a, it's a massive, up, ooh, that's a massive planet as well, it is a huge update, the main thing that it has added in is base building. And that I've already discovered. So, how you get your base is what you want to do. The easiest way, pretty much, is to fly around above a planet, pressing C, until you find a thing called a habitable base pop up. I cheated to find mine. I, well, not exactly cheated, I just used it slightly differently. I went to one of the big orange light beams that poke up into the sky and search for a shelter. And it brought me to this place. So what this is, is just your basic simple starter hut that you can claim as yourself, claim for yourself. There's a previous base item cache and I think that's just units in there. Right, so, let's interact with it. Home planet regis registration main fr mainframe. Wow, I can't talk. Not set, not set, not set, not found, not found, not found. Uh, construction terminal installation required for further base operations. Terminals and other necessary building modules can be constructed with Z. Terminals must be staffed before they are operational. Specialist staff can be recruited in space stations. Nice. Right, this is now mine. Can I... Nope, can't open any of that. Yep. Why can't I interact? Oh. Can I interact with any of this? Base terminus interactor teleporter. Teleport network temporarily offline. Okay. Teleporters allow instantaneous travel between base station owned bases, space station owned and owned bases. Teleportation network is only available to experienced warp travelers. Okay. Right then. So it said press said. What do I want? A straight corridor? Nope. Room parts. Foundation, symmetrical room, straight corridor. Right, it said that I would want to make a... Right, hang on. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's a lot like No Man's Sky. Um, no Man's Sky? This is No Man's Sky. It seems to be a lot like... Um, 30 iron, 1 glass, and 10 heridium. I have never seen... glass before in this game. Right, how do we F to place object? Oh, oops, I placed two corridors. Right, now let's put a... Right, now let's see if we can go between them. Yes, it's automatically done it. Nice. Right, what can I put in here? Foundation, glass with corridor, da 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 da. Don't want some corridors. Do I maybe have to go up to a space station? I want to open that. And get someone that will work this for me. Okay, and I can't interact with that either anymore. Right, let's... Save that. Waypoint signal received. Save progress and claim sector discovery. Waypoints discovered. Rename and upload. Shades base. Say hi at Sir Shade YouTube. There we go. And if anyone sees that, come and say hello. Comment down below. Right, that's just a savey thing. What are you? I did place you down myself, but I can't remember. Signal booster. Yeah, you can use the signal booster to help find the actual things. Like clean outpost, habitable base, resource deposit, nah, nah, nah. Don't want any of that. What I want to do is... Ooh, safe thing looks cool. Where is my ship? Ship? Right, let's just kill this guy quickly. Die. Okay, that took a while to dry. To dry? To die. There we go. Grab that. Ooh, and I got plasma clip converter thing. And there's more aliens pissed at me. But where... There you are, Mr. Ship. 
I've completely restarted my save for this one. For the new update, because I wanted to get completely fresh new world. Right. Let's go and find ourselves a space station. Whee! I know there's one up here somewhere. It is over there. How far away is that? Yeah, there's a planet there that has gold. Whee! Space station is... Wow, that's one minute away. That's pretty far. Right, so... What else was in the update? They have added in freighters, which are huge ships that cost about 7 million or so, at least. The cheapest I've seen costed 7 million. Anyway, yep, yeah, it's a huge ship that you could buy, and that basically works as a giant mobile base, but isn't as cool or as personalised. So that kind of sucks, but it's still cool. So what I want to do is set up my home base on that planet we just saw, because I'm pretty close to the planet there, which is covered in gold. So when I leave this whole solar system galaxy thing and move on, I can teleport back here at any time with my ship and go and farm up some gold and sell it. So if I ever get short on money and there's no gold in that sector, I can do it like that. Right, 20 seconds away. Can I turn it all whilst I'm like this? No? Can I spin? No. Nope. Oh, don't get interference from the planet. Good. Right. Space station getting pretty close. Six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. And let's just go straight into it. Hello. There we go. Perfect. See, the space stations are quite small in comparison to the freighters, which is weird. Because you thought a space station would be a place where a freighter would be able to dock. Right then. Yeah, this is my ship, by the way. It's one of those weird, ugly ones. I don't like it that much. I want a new one. But for now, I'm focusing on just getting my base done. Right. Let's go into here. Let me run. Thank you. And now, there are lots of people sitting at the bar as well, instead of just the grumpy one in the middle. Right, first what I want to do is just sell. Sell items for my inventories. There you go, let me sell Emerald for 13,000 units. Not bad. Pungium minus... Okay, it's quite easy to get. Anything else on me that I want to sell? Nope, what about on the Starship? I know there's some weird thing I've got. Less two percent less a Corvax casing. Eh, stuff it. And is there anything else? No. Okay. Doesn't let you sell plutonium. That's weird. Explore Tinezjo. And you should speak in English. My good friend, what luck for both of us. I am a specialist in construction. In search of a new position position. Have you established a planetary base? If so, give me a terminal to work at and I'll build you the foundations of an em an empire. There are preparations I must attend to before I can hire a builder. The being grabs my hand and shakes it vigorously as I approach them. The wide set eyes fix me with a friendly gaze, and I am not surprised when they speak to me in my own language. Okay, for some reason I can't recruit him yet. A construction terminal. Yeah, but I don't know how to build a construction terminal. What about you? Can we have a chat? No? Ooh. There we go. Toil get ricketh. And I'm clipping through the alien's head. No one will serve your farming needs better than I. Do you have a planetary base? Provide a terminal there for me, and my service is yours. Sorry, I'm not hiring at the moment. Okay, that's that sucks. Why what do I actually need to build then? Come on, last one. Let me see if I can have a chat with you. Let me talk to you. You don't want a job, do you? Hello? No. Assistant Imtad. Cost me to talk to this guy. Cheeky bastard. Gek. Do spluggy floop. Request shield recharge. Yeah, sure. Trader agrees to help. Well, thank you.
Shield at maximum. Nice. Now, okay, I'll just leave you alone for a second. Atlas Pass V3. Wow. I've never seen a V3 Atlas Pass. Right. Can we have a chat yet? I want to see if you're something I can hire. Let me talk to you. Ooh. Device. Interact. Oh, thank you for the money. Never going to say no to free money. See, I can't actually even talk to this one at all. So now it's giving me the option to talk to him. Yeah, I can't talk to that one. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to go all the way back to my planet again and try and build a construction terminal. Ooh, that, that there is a big ship. I'm going to guess at 14 million? Maybe? I don't know. I was trying to stand on it so it wouldn't take off with that. Right. Hello, Gekman. Gek, Björk, just bugger flug. And your ship costs 2 million. Okay, I was really right far out. But that is a nice ship. Oh, I wish I had 2 million. I suppose it wouldn't take... Th uh, yeah, it would take ages. Because I'd have to go to the gold planet and spend ages just mining all the gold there. What about you? Director Royoik. Hello, friend, he says. Make an offer on his ship. 796,000 units. That's more in my price range. He's got a hyperdrive. I've got a hyperdrive. But you're going to need all your engines charging. If you take off from here, I'm going to be annoyed. Because you haven't got any fuel in your engines. Right. I guess that it is back to my planet. I'll see you over there when I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And I've worked out that I was just being an idiot and now I know what to do. Right, so... When I press Z to bring up this menu, I can scroll up through these different options. And I need to select Specialist Terminals. Play there and click Place Obster. Right, now I need 50 iron. Let's have a look at my ship. Have I got any iron there? New. No. And, right, let's just. Am I able to use up the carbon in something? Right, you take iron to repair. Um, what about you? Has that cleared a slot? There we go. Okay, so I need to farm a little bit of iron quickly. Still can't access that. Um, you should be a blob of iron. There we go. Oops. Sorry thing. Scared it. Anytime soon. Have I gotten 50? Perfect. 50 on the dot. And zoom back to my base. Missed the door. Right, and let's go back into here. And... Da -da -da. Construction terminal requires a skill builder for operation. You can recruit builders in space stations. Interact with it. Okay. Space station detected. Can I now teleport with my ship up to the space station. Teleport unavailable. Okay. So I need to go flying through space again back up to the station. Ship. Good ship. Right, let's see if I can boost all the way over that. Ah, oh, so close. Actually, yeah, that counts. Right. Back into space to the ship then. Hello people, and I'm back up at the space station. And this lovely alien here happens to have a little symbol above his head now. None of the others do, just this one. So, let's have a chat with him and see what he wants now. My good friend, blah de blah if so, give me a terminal to work at and I'll build you the foundations of an empire. Da da da, recruit builder, brackets construction terminal built. You will not regret our association, I have the coordinates of your planetary base, I'll meet you there. What is the word? Oh yes, boss. Yay, I have an employee. Right, how do I do the teleport back to ship thing? 
Atlas Pass. Can I go through this one? Are you an Atlas Pass as well? Nope, you're also Atlas. Right then, so does that mean I've just got to go again back down to the ship? Alright. Let's give this a go, see if I can get through here. I'm guessing it's going to be Atlas Pass protected, but... Ooh, no full damage in here. Give it a go anyway. Oh, no, it's not. Ooh, never used to be able to get through these doors. And there's the teleporter. Nice. Isotope. Thank you. You're going to be an Atlas now, aren't you? Yeah. Right then. Will you let me work? Teleport unavailable. Uh, only available to experience warp travellers, so maybe if I do a warp jump then I'll be able to. What do I actually need to get a warp cell made? One antimatter, and for that I need one suspension fluid. Right, I haven't got the recipe for suspension fluid yet, but I might be able to just buy one. But I'm not going to do that at the moment because Let's just focus on this thing. So, I'll see you once again back down at my planet. Right, finally coming back into the base. See if I can just crash straight into it. And there. Am I able to make a landing pad? That'd be cool if I can. Let's have a look. Right, I want the pad to be... I don't know. And I'm also at the wrong side. Right, so this is the first room I had, yes. Yeah. Okay, so there's stuff on all of those walls. Let's see if I can put a pad somewhere. Room parts. Nope, I want structure. Foundation. Nope. No. This not a thing? No, this isn't for landing a ship on. Um, how do I... Delete. There we go. Yay, I did it. I actually did something right. Oh, I heard a gag. I heard him. My friend is here. Not my friend, my employee. Hello. Hello. Oh, I can't have a chat with you. Can I open my storage box yet? No. Right, let's go again at room parts. Door, ramp, ladder, window, door, ramp, ladder, window, door, ramp, ladder, window, door, ramp, ladder, window. Damn. Uh, okay, so I can't make any actual storage things. That sucks. Can I transfer... Right, I think what well, before I do the warpy stuff, I want to go and have a chat, have a chat, have a search for some drop pods. I'll provide the blueprints for any construction item you need, but before you start running around the galaxy in search of resources, allow me to present you with this beacon blueprint. Build a beacon to mark your location and you'll be able to return there with ease. My builder is at their station poring over some arcane project of their own. I am delighted they joined my team. Their enthusi enthusiasm is infectious and they have a wealth of ideas for the expansion of this base. But before we make a start on construction, they insist on improving my navigational capabilities. Beacons can be built using Z and recolor to remind you of a particular location. Thank you. You're welcome. We wouldn't achieve much if you got yourself lost and left me stranded here. You are not wrong. A voltaic cell and a carrot sheet. Right, can I get anything else? The spadonium. Okay, I need to calibrate a science terminal's diagnostic sensors is extracted from cacti that live in barren environments. Provide me of some and I'll have this place ready for a scientist in no time. Okay, so I need to find a barren planet and the little cactus that give you spadonium. And barren biomes when you have spadonium, the plants will be waiting. There you go, taking a screenshot of that. Right, everyone, I am gonna end my episode here. 
and I'll start next episode with a bit of walk travel after gathering some drop pods and increasing my inventory a bit because that's pathetic. Right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Let me know if you have enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.